I work in our people operations organization, specifically in our staffing recruiting department. And um, my teams look after hiring for multiple groups within our cloud organization. And I've done that for about five years, and two of those years were actually with Google Japan. My role at Google is a customer engineering manager uh, for Google Cloud Platform. So I manage a team of pre-sales engineers that go out and essentially um, qualify business opportunities with our customers and then help them adopt Cloud Platform at Google. First of all, I think it's pretty commonly known that Google has a 20% project culture, mm -hmm. which basically means that um, everybody who works at Google has the opportunity to work on a side project um, that's not related to their day-to-day -day job, but very much related to what they're passionate about. So um, that's something that's ingrained in our culture. Often some of the best ideas uh, come from folks outside of your immediate team. Um, just to give you an example, you know, whether it's 20% you know, projects, I mean, Gmail was a 20% project at one point, and it's one of the most successful you know, products at Google. Um, but it takes that kind of collaboration to generate the ideas and then the successful ongoing solutions. Um, I think also the way we set up things um, for every work you do, for every project you do, you're going to work in a cross-functional setup. So that automatically puts you in a setup where you hear ideas from multiple angles and you automatically come up with solutions and products and whatever it is that's going to make sense for multiple groups. And if I take that one level more granularly, um, we're a very data-driven company. We make all our decisions based, based on data, which means that absolutely everything we do will have a post-mortem. Um, every year, Google runs a survey um, across the entire company. It's called Google Geist. Uh, basically, every single full-time employee gets uh, questioned um, around how we're doing as a company from very, very top level, our leadership, the Larry Page, the Sundar level leadership, all the way down to your day-to-day -day life. We basically choose typically three priorities that we're going to focus on, and we set for that year a goal to make improvements. And that's kind of like how it works with everything. So that's like a company-wide initiative, but with, with every team, um, if you do a brainstorming and you start dumping all the things that could be doing better, most likely we're going to choose a few to focus on and run with those. I particularly look after our hiring for cloud. Cloud is a very big investment for Google today. We're hiring very aggressively. We're a underdog in the cloud business, meaning there's companies like AWS and Microsoft that have been at the cloud game for a much longer time. They're way ahead of Google, so automatically we are in a position of underdog. So the way we approach the talent market has to come from a much more humble spot, from a much more underdog perspective, and the way we design our hiring processes also needs to follow suit. I think Japan, with the Google lens, um, is in a bit of a tough spot because um, you know, we want to make sure we preserve the Japanese culture um, in the Japan office, but at the same time, it's an extremely global company. Um, so I think it's a little bit tough to come up with innovations that make sense at a global level when the Japanese context is so different. In US, when we talk about cloud, we focus a lot on machine learning and artificial intelligence. It's one of our the core skills that we're looking for when, when hiring people. Um, in Japan, it's more about platforms. So the priority for hiring falls on platforms types of talent. Um, whatever it takes attitude, number one. Um, any, you know, expertise in any one, um, you know, area of domain expertise to be able to join Google and immediately start contributing and uh, just a voracious appetite to learn. I, I think the most successful Googlers are the ones that continuously, uh, whether it's week one as a Noogler 
or it's you know year four, five, or six, they're still asking questions every day. They're treating every day, every week of their employment at Google as kind of just this continuous learning opportunity. My first piece of advice is participate and try. I think many people think about Google and they, many people tend to think it would be too difficult or I don't have a chance or the bar is too high. And that's simply not true. It's, it's a large organization. The bar is high, but it's not unattainable. And that's the first thing that I would say um, is that, you know, people looking at places like Google need to, you know, put in the, put in the effort to do their research and study, uh, but also reach out and, and do your homework before starting your interview process. You know, if you can meet a few Googlers, if you can ask questions, that's a great place to start and typically disarms folks from the, the nervousness and the tension of interviewing with Google and just getting started, taking that first step, that's typically the hardest part. It's not an absolute nirvana. Uh, it's not, you know, as difficult as um, it's commonly known. Um, do your best shot, take, take the chance, and then if it doesn't work out, come back and try again.